Hey guys, welcome to the shop. I'm Jim with Send Cut Send. Today I want to talk to you guys about surface quality and edge quality and what to expect when you order parts from us. Uh, first, let's start off with some thicker uh, hot roll steel. This is super common. Uh, and what you're gonna notice about hot roll steel is the edge quality is pretty darn amazing. I would compare this to maybe 300 grit sandpaper, something like that. Uh, very comparable to water jet, sometimes better. Uh, and what you're gonna see on hot roll in particular is the mill scale. So mill scale is part of the hot rolling process. It's an oxide that's left over when they form the material. If you've ever welded this stuff or worked with it, you know that you gotta grind that off in order to get a good weld. Um, same is true with our material. So keep that in mind when working with hot roll. If it's gonna be painted, if it's gonna be welded, uh, you're gonna need to remove that mill scale. Moving down the line, uh, here's an example. Same material, this is hot roll, but it's in a, a slightly thinner thickness. Uh, this is 375. Again, really, really smooth edge quality. Uh, no big imperfections that should be expected. There will be some light scratches, uh, especially on the underside when we load, you'll, you'll have some scratches. Typically, you can't catch it with your fingernail. If it's a deep gouge, that's a problem. Let us know, we'll remake your part. Uh, we try and catch that before it goes out the door. Kind of a unique material that we cut a lot of is AR steel. So AR is abrasion resistant steel. So we sell it as AR500, AR400. The thing about AR steel is you never know what the surface finish is gonna look like. It can be rusted, it can be kind of mottled, it can be, you know, have a patina to it. So like on these examples, you know, it kind of looks like a, like a zebra pattern or something. So keep that in mind when, uh, when ordering AR, if surface quality, if appearance is really important, uh, you may have to powder coat it or, or paint it or something like that. Uh, let's take a look at something that is cut on oxygen here. Um, this is a good example. This is quarter inch HRP and O steel. HRP and O is hot rolled and then pickled and oiled. What the pickled and oiling process does is it actually removes a lot of that mill scale. So it's ready to weld, ready to go. You don't have to spend hours with a flat disc trying to grind it off. Um, but what I want to show you on the edge is that this was cut using oxygen as an assist gas. So it leaves a little bit of a glassy oxide that will need to be removed if you're gonna to weld to it um, or if you're gonna paint it or whatever, because that stuff will flake off. Moving on to stainless steel. Here we have some half inch stainless steel. Uh, again, this is just a mill grade finish. It's gonna scratch really easily uh, and discolor really easily. So when I say scratch, I don't mean like gouge. You're not gonna be able to to get a big canyon in there, but you know, dragging something across the top or whatever will discolor it. Um, even the oils from your fingers are gonna leave you know, weird marks that are gonna last for a while. So be careful if you're handling it for a cosmetic purpose. In this particular example, uh, this was cut using our in-house nitrogen generator. So sometimes we use liquid nitrogen that's 100% pure, and sometimes we generate our own nitrogen in-house. This was cut uh, using the generator, so you can see a little bit of discoloration. That's from the trace gases left in, in the process. Uh, it doesn't affect strength or heat affected zone or anything like that. Just leaves a little bit of color. Kind of looks like titanium to me. Uh, I kind of like it, but again, something to think about for cosmetics. Uh, the thinner we go, usually the, the better edge quality we have uh, to the point where it's almost glassy. So this is 100 thou thick stainless. Again, this is a 2B mill finish on here. It will, uh, it'll show imperfections really, really easily. You can drag your fingernail across it and it'll, it'll leave a scratch. It's nothing you can feel, but just keep that in mind. For the edge though, uh, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous and there's no burr, no dross, uh, straight off the laser. So uh, really great material to, to work with if you just wanna get it and go. Next, we have some really thick aluminum. This is half inch thick 5052 series aluminum. This is the thickest that we cut. Um, this is a little bit more aggressive of an edge than say hot rolled or, uh, or stainless steel. This is probably closer to like 180 grit finish on the side. And 
it's still uh, comparable to water jet. Uh, I don't even know if you could do this with, with most uh, plasmas that are available to a, a hobbyist or a DIYer. The only thing with aluminum is we will have a little bit of dross, a little bit of sawtooth edge. So here it's probably 10 thou uh, on the bottom. And the good thing is, is it just knocks off with a file. Uh, or, you know, you can hit it with a DA, something like that, if you don't like that. Of course, you can also use our deburring service. We'll, we'll send it through our, our facilities um, over there in deburring and they'll take good care of you. Moving on down the line, um, in thinner aluminum, you can see that our edge quality starts to pick back up. We're going towards, you know, maybe a 300 series grit finish. Um, very, very smooth and almost no noticeable dross. You're barely gonna be able to feel it with your fingers. Also, something to keep in note with, uh, with aluminum is it's soft, so it will scratch uh, and it's really sensitive to oils. So touching it with your fingers, um, you know, or, or spraying it with something, uh, you know, if you get a little bit of uh, gasoline or kerosene or something on it, it'll leave a mark. So in order to protect your aluminum, we always recommend clear coating it. Uh, we recommend oiling it. Uh, you can use WD-40. We use a product called Sheila Shine that we love. It smells like mint uh, and that'll help protect the aluminum. And then finally, let's get down to uh, some of our red metals here. So copper and brass. Copper and brass have very similar edge qualities and, and similar characteristics to, uh, you know, maybe stainless. So very, very smooth finish, no dross. These are both cut on oxygen. Um, however, the surface is incredibly, incredibly soft. So if you look at it wrong, it tends to scratch. Um, keep that in mind when ordering. We always ask that, you know, you have in mind like that you're gonna post-process it, that you're going to uh, hit it with a DA or some scotch Bright or something like that if you don't choose one of our deburring services. Uh, again, we offer free deburring, so if you want it to have like a brushed finish, we can do that for you at no charge. Uh, but if you choose to opt out of that, there will be some scratches. So that's all I have today for edge quality and surface quality. If you have any questions, feel free to email us, support at sendcutsend.com, or visit our website, sendcutsend.com. Thanks, guys.